Welcome back to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest with your host Alex, also known as Solonis Dracon. With me as before is Rambler81. Hello, Rambler. Good day, everybody. Good day. And yes, this is pretty much the same setting. I've cleared out what are actually the last two battlegrounds in the game, thank goodness. We're done with that crap. And these are some of the most annoying enemies in the game in these battlegrounds, too. These motherfuckers right here. The water hags. They can they can use the cure spell, but the problem is that number one, they use the fucking cure spell, which sucks in and of itself. But apparently, when they use cure spell on undead, it has the intended effect. It actually heals the undead. Well, they just specialize in their healing abilities. Yep. Oh, you just got faced. Thankfully, that's over with, and this Battlegrounds gives us XP! Yay. Wonderful. One more to go. Pretty sure we get something decent out of this one. What should be the item that defense against uh, Petrify? That, that would be just lovely. After we no longer really need it, because there aren't any petrifying enemies left in the game. Is that one of the bullshit stuff? Is that why it happens? That's... there's a lot of bullshit mm. stuff going on. And we got... no. XP. Oh. Interesting. Oh, well, I guess all of our armor and weapons have yet to be gotten, but we made it to Windia! Hey, lady, lady, late stand, stand still. Where's Norma? Have you seen her? No. You must be ungodly loud up there. You might be I'll just the wind, but also just the clattering of the windows. It really does sound like it's a pain in the ass, but I'm about to buy a Cupid locket. I hope you're happy with the Cupid locket. That protects against confusion, which is very useful, because. In the little interim when we when I was doing the grinding of the fields, Benjamin got confused while I had the claw, and he basically scratched himself with it and turned himself to stone. Which is unfortunate and hilarious, but I still don't understand how you ac accidentally axe yourself. I mean, that takes dedication. <laughs> it's like, oh god, it's over! The world is doomed! Maybe it's not. Maybe what it is is not confusion. Maybe it's depression. I would oh, love good. to see a game try to pull that off. Remember there was a sadness status ailment in Final Fantasy VII? I don't recall that. Excuse me, are you Otto? Uh, oh, I'm trying to get ready for this. Uh, Leo! Leo! My daughter Noah's went to the top of the north by using the Weibo Wall. Please stop that. That is a terrible, <laughs> terrible voice. <laughs> but the powerful wind from Mount Gale broke the Mount Wall making machine! Mama stuck out to the wind right now. God, that is the most incoherent I've ever heard you be. Benjamin, let's keep on going. The Crystal of Wind might be in that mountain. He's the got Crystal a library. Wind might be able to help you, be be Benjamin. God fucking damn it. Were, were you trying to go for the Dr. Light? Yes. Because he looks a lot more like Dr. Wawi to me. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but you know... I, I Too late so now, time. motherfucker! No, I'm not, I'm not really... no. I get what you're going for, but the thing is, Wally's never been a fascinating character to really voice, because either it's the stereotypical the? evil voice, or otherwise... A chocobo. A, a, a typical Sherman. Scientist evil boy. What the? A chocobo? We're just... we're looking at the only chocobo in the game. Mm -hmm. The only nod to there being Final Fantasy about this game. Maybe this one there. There's got to be something else we can get in this area. Just can't go out and play in this wind! 
No such thing as kites in this uh, place. I, mean, I have a feeling they'd get toilet. carried off by the kites, dude. They'd be like, they're just up in the air, whoosh. Bye, children. Okay, all right, all right, okay. You, lady. Yes, I'll buy all of that. I love how I don't even worry about money anymore. Huh? You, we went through 48 of those already? Yeah, dude, it takes like four to heal yourself to max. Hmm. Lady, do you have something? If only the Oh god, she can't gather seeds. This is appalling conditions. It's amazing I can still hear the wind downstairs. That's a powerful ass wind. Let's go deal with the wind. I, I thought I was gonna get something else cool, but I guess I'm not going to. Which makes me wonder what's what is on Mount What's it call it there? A wind generating machine? Yeah, I'm talking about like treasures that I can actually use. I love how this is called Wind Hole Temple. Yeah, I was gonna make a joke about like you know shut your wind hole, but you know that wouldn't have worked. I was gonna go for something about farts, but I guess you're the better man than me. Well, yeah. Just won't let me have anything. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a big hard sun. Eating all the people. This big hard world. Mount Gale! Now, actually, I would like you to check this for me. Is there actually anything on this mountain as far as any red treasure chests go? A memento pork of art? Sure. And at least it's got cool music going on. God, not three of these bitches. Oh. Uh, well, it looks like brown chests all over. Nothing but brown? Nothing but brown. Well, then this place is shit. I haven't very big either for that matter. God, I hate these guys so much. And that's why I say Meteor is the most useless spell. It's simply because, at the point in the game that you get it, it's insufficient to needs. But I'm level 32 now, which is good. That means I suck slightly less. Well, just slightly. Only as much as I need to. That that seemed to go better. God, this music is jamming. Look, there's there's the enemy that we eventually have to face. Right up there. That's the dude. That sprite has, that sprite has barely ever made sense to me, like of what's supposed to actually be his horse. It's missing. It's a headless horse. But you don't even see the rider that's on top of it, so he just looks like a bunch of clopping legs. Pretty much. I'm saying the sprite design is terrible. Yes. 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 God damn. Fuck it, I'll, I'll burn all the seeds here, I don't give a shit, this place sucks. Any enemy that heals itself in any game sucks. Should probably use a seed here. And I'll even top out Kaylee. Why not? Seeds for everybody. Can I, like, ignore this guy? Yeah. No. Uh, no. No. Are you absolutely sure there are no red tress whatsoever on this map? When I'm looking up and down, just brown chests all over. I guess there are two red ones in Pazuzu's tower? I suppose? 
I'm gonna need to take a look at a second map just to make sure I'm not missing something. Well, let's check what we've got so far here. As far as weapons go, we're only missing one, and that's Excalibur. I know where I'm gonna get that. I think. But, I'm missing three Whoa, pieces of armor. This map done sussed me! What? Yes, there is a red chest way up top. Okay, good. At least there's something here worth getting. Maybe I'll find it in my travels! Yeah, it depends. God, Kaylee's just still so much better at everything than I am. Except for withstanding that shit. God, it's, it's why, why even bother with magic? I'm not killing anything with it. Well, because it looks fancier than attacking? I suppose. Oh, turned a skeleton to stone. How do you like that? By the way, I'm not 100% certain, but I do think that killing enemies with exit renders no experience from them. Mercy on us all, it's these guys! I don't even care if I get any sort of experience. I just want them gone. Well, you're not really, really short of levels to begin with, so... No. But that's the thing, I'm, I'm level appropriate, I think, for this place. They, they kind of wanted you to be around this level by this point in the game. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that first map done sussed me. Yeah, what the hell, man? What? Are, what's your sources, man? That was fake what news, the, man. That was on BG Maps. It was an unmarked map. I kept the brown chests on there, but they didn't remove the... Somehow they removed the red one. Maybe it's they, they went there once and then got the map and then left. I don't know. Apollo but Helm. This should still be on the map. Like, you have to put effort into actually removing it from the map. You know, Apollo Helm looks kind of fucking useless. Because it doesn't defend against anything but fire, which the Moonham already did. But it's a little bit more armor, so I guess it was worth it. Told you didn't waste your time? Nah, I didn't, because it's still stuff. Hold on, nope. I'm getting rid of these things. It's a shame you can't spread the exit spell out. I guess they thought of that. Yeah, that blew it a bit much. This makes me want to mod the game even more. All right, we're closing in on this bad boy. I do like their death sound. It is cool. Huh, well, apparently there's an easy type uh, mod for this game. Oh, really? This needed. Well, I mean, there's rebalancing and then there's easy mode, but alright, Doolahan. So you're the one who's draining Crystal of Wind's power! Nah, it's Pazuzu. But you'll never meet him. Okay. <laughs> Very anticlimactic voice. Oh, okay, well... Like, no, no, it's Pazuzu. Thanks, thanks for pointing us in the right direction, though. Yeah. Hey, check out my horse. It doesn't have a head on it. Yeah. It's got a mane, though, for some reason. Oh. I put it there myself. Oh. Yeah. So your horse has a toupee on it. Yeah, well, you know, it makes it even more 
you know, terrifying, doesn't it? Don't you think? Yep. Yeah. I think that he just used something called Head Umarang, which is probably exactly what it sounds like. So did you ever see the, uh... What was it? Why oh, blank on the ember now? It's... With the Headless Horseman. You Sleepy mean Hollow. Of Sleepy Hollow, yeah. There we go, yeah. You ever see the Disney one, like, when you were a little kid? Wasn't that actually genuinely terrifying? You know, not really, but... I was genuinely terrified by certain Disney things. I'll, I'll say this right up front, my biggest nightmare from childhood was any Disney wolf. Really? Those things scared the ever-loving crap out of me, That just the way that their eyes were all whirly and yellow and red, it was just horrifying to me. I was afraid of wolves for such a large, large portion of my life. Do you have any examples of that, actually? Uh, Peter and the Wolf, and Lambert the Sheepish Lion, to name a couple. Never saw those, actually, I don't think. You need to take a look at those wolves one day, and tell me that that's not terrifying to a three-year-old. Uh-oh, he's off his horse! Motherfucker! He, he got off his high horse! And grew three times in size. Yep. Head Umerang again, that's great. Dude, Meteor, your argument is invalid. Thunderbeam! Ooh, that hurt. Okay, and that's done. That's, that's it. No more exposition. Yep. I guess we got all the exposition we needed. Nah, it's Pazuzu. Yeah, it's, oh, okay. Yeah, it's Pazuzu. Just, yeah, that's it. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We thought, we thought it was something greater, but nope. It's just Pazuzu. No, no. It's Pazuzu. Just... Oh, it's no longer but blowing The wind stopped, here. so... Mission okay. accomplished? Yeah, we... Great. I... So, we don't what, need to so, go fucking around with the Crystal of Wind? Yes, but the Crystal of Wind was in the tower, so... It's... I think it's just, at this point, it's like, let's just fucking do it, okay? Let's just get it over with. Let's not spend too, uh, too long a time thinking about it. Yeah, because obviously this game didn't. It really didn't. Yeah, oh! you can play on the roof again! Yeah, that's funny to me. Hey, kid. It's great when the wind calms like this. Also, the wind picks up. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, we, we gotta go see what this kid's up to up there. Somehow I feel this is either significant or stupid. You can see for... Yep, completely stupid. I don't know, I'm just looking for ways to pad out the next, like, 12 minutes here to make this... I don't know, maybe we should make it a short episode to make up for that ghastly long one from before. How about some seeds, young man? Yes, please. I'll take every last one of them. I'll take all of your seeds! <laughs> yeah, you know that seed is like... slang for semen, right? You just, you That's just what I was going for! You just, Hence inferred, my... <laughs> you, you just inferred old lady sex. Yes. Congratulations, didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, yeah. What's the reward you? I actually realized that's what I was going for. You well, see, you don't, I like you don't I, I like blindsiding you like that. Well guess what, you get to do this voice again. The wind suddenly stop. I'll try to make the wave a woad. You mean Bifrost, right? Oh, we don't even got a cutscene for that? But Bifrost! It worked! Otto, we're going to save Norma and the crystal. Oh, wait! Please, just just save the crystal! <laughs> In the tower, you'll see switches and even number of floors. Flick the switches in your axe. 
The elevator won't go past that floor. Great, thanks. So now we've got a rainbow road. Yeah. Yeah. Life lost. Yep. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. And I think that's about it for today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, I am Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone. With me has been 81 Rambler. Goodbye, Rambler. See ya. Peace.